All right, if you're going to have cataract surgery, you're going to want the best lens on the market. And joining us now is cataract and glaucoma specialist Dr. Kevin Pikey from Sabates Eye Center to tell us about the only trifocal lens available. So I've only heard of bifocal. I was no, had no idea there was even a thing called trifocals, but uh, you guys have got this new panoptic lens that's out. You and I were talking before the segment. This sounds totally something science fiction, uh, you know, that I'd read about in some future type magazine. But what is it and how does it work? Okay, so um, first of all, let's get a couple terms. Um, mm -hmm. So when we talk about lens implants, artificial lens implants, these are what we put into the eye after cataract surgery. Okay. So IOL is the term that we'll use for that. Uh, traditionally, we use what's called a monofocal IOL, which is a, basically set for one distance. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's one focal point uh, put into the lens implant. The problem with those lens implants is that they only give you one distance, so either distance or intermediate or near, depending on where you set the lens. So, like, for example, if like you were farsighted or nearsighted, it would be kind of like that. When you get your glasses set, it's only set for that one. Exactly. Okay. So anything outside of that is going to be blurred. With the, with the uh, bifocal lens implant, which is what we have now called the multifocals, mm -hmm. there's two focal points put into the lens, distance and near. The problem with that is the brain has to learn to blend the vision for intermediate. So depending on the lighting conditions, that is not always very effective. Okay. So this is actually, the panoptics is a trifocal IOL. So there's three focal points put into it, something called enlightened optical technology, mm -hmm. which is like this fancy engineered term for three focal points. Focal points are basically points in your vision where light coming in from that distance is focused directly onto the retina. So it's clear. Yeah. So this is a patented lens implant that has set for distance for 60 centimeters or 24 inches, which is your intermediate vision, like arm's length, okay. and then 16 inches for near vision. And these are actually been studied extensively. So they've asked, you know, what is the optimal distance for intermediate? What's the optimal distance? Hmm. Those exact numbers are put into this lens implant. That's, that's so crazy. You, you're getting distance, intermediate, near all in the same lens so implant. So is that, for example, that, that close? Is it, so if you're reading or reading a book or something, then that intermediate would be like computer or Correct. TV or something like that? Or, or menu. TV or, or, yeah, and then just long distance for just driving exactly. or getting around. Okay, exactly. interesting. So how, does the new lens work for, um, for astigmatism? It does. There's two different um, lenses available, a spherical and a mm -hmm. toric IOL. Toric means that it corrects astigmatism. And it's really important to correct astigmatism in cataract surgery because it does have a profound effect on the quality of vision. So yeah. anything over, say, a half diopter of astigmatism will affect the visual performance. So it's really important to correct that. So this lens does come in both. And do you have to wear glasses and after you have that implant put in? Um, or is it a case-by-case -case basis depending on where your vision is before the procedure? It, I think if you look at the studies, mm -hmm. okay, so what is the percentage of people that have to wear glasses after s implantation of this particular lens? It's, so what they did is at six months after the lens was implanted, they asked all the patients that underwent this particular surgery, they asked them over the past seven days, how often have you had to wear glasses, mm -hmm. either for distance, for intermediate, for near? Uh, they, you could either answer never, rarely, um, sometimes or very often or all the time. Yeah. 80% never had to wear glasses wow. at any distance, which is pretty impressive. Uh, if you looked at rarely, it was about 10%. So 90% of the people either never or rarely had to wear glasses at all distances with this particular lens I mean, implant. That sounds like that's a pretty, amazing. pretty great success rate. And that's with the, the patients in that study locally here. How, how have your patients kind of responded to it? What have your, What has your feedback been? Well, this is a brand new lens implant. Oh, really? It literally just got approved by the FDA, which is a, wow. it's a long, arduous process. Sure. So uh, within the last couple of weeks, so this is, this is brand new technology. I've been placing lens implants similar to this for years, mm -hmm. uh, but this is, this, is, this is brand new. The study had 127 patients. They asked the patients at the end of the study, if you were to have this lens again, would you? Yeah. 126 out of 127 said so they would. Oh, wow. And 98% of them said they would recommend it to a friend or family member. So this is, it's, it's incredible well, technology. Great returns on that. Yeah, it just sounds, that's fascinating to me that we were talking, because I, I was under the impression that it was a curved lens based on like, you know, the curve of your eyeball, but they said this is a flat lens. It gets implanted back there Correct. and focuses the light at those three different distances. Yes. My mind is blown. Yes. <laughs> so that's, that's fantastic technology yeah. and wonderful that it's available for people here. It is. And I will, I will say this. As a cataract surgeon, I love what I do. Uh, being able to restore vision is one of the, 
I think, most rewarding things that we could do in all of medicine. Yes. And one of the most frustrating things for me has been, I'll take a patient who is blinded by a cataract or who has been dependent on glasses their whole life, and I'll put in a monofocal lens implant, give them 20-20 vision the next day, mm -hmm. and the thing that they complain about the most is, Doc, I love my distance vision, but every I time I it. look at a computer, every time I look up close, I can't see. And yeah. they have like 12 pairs of reading glasses laying around the house. <laughs> They've got a pair strapped to their belt. And so they don't tell me about their distance vision being 20-20. They yeah. tell me about how they can't see it's, it close. It's always what the problem is, right? It is. So, so. Well, well, Doc, we appreciate your time today. And for more information or to make an appointment, uh, call 913-261-2020 or go online to sabateseye.com.